had the whole world at our feet, watching seasons change. Our roads were lined with adventure, mountains in the way, couldn't keep us from the sea. Here we stand, open arms, this is home where we are, ever strong in Hello, everybody. If you're here, if it's working, I'm here with Tom Joubert. Is it? Yeah, good effort. Thanks. Joubert, sometimes. Joubert. Okay. Uh, you, you're halfway there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and he is the uh, story designer. I guess I could call you that of Subnautica, the narrative that. narrative person. Uh, so, um, if you can hear me and if you can hear Tom, please say so, because I have no real way of telling other than you. So yeah, I've got some questions already here for Tom off my uh, Discord server and, and the community post that I did a while ago, but if you want to ask any questions, then just keep spamming me with them and I'll eventually see them. So if you want to say something, Tom, introduce yourself, I don't know. Uh, yeah, hello everyone, I'm Tom. Uh, I have been uh, the narrative designer on Subnautica for like the last three years. I came on board kind of just after Early Access launched. Um, and uh, besides that, I'm a freelancer. I work on some other games like uh, FTL and the Talos Principle. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited to be talking up the story today. We've got one month to go till release. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't delay again. It's not going to, is it, though? It's. I don't think it's going to. Everyone, you know, my housemates, they always give me... Well, can we swear on this show? Yeah, 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 it's swear. fine. Uh, they, they always give me shit for this because uh, I say, yeah, the game's almost finished. It's almost finished. It's almost finished. And then it always takes another three months. Uh, <laughs> and they're saying that this time. They're saying, is it really going to be finished this time? I say, yes, this is the one that I actually take as a hard deadline. Everything else, the October deadline, I took in, in my head as a 50-50. I think everyone knew it was going to be a push. Yeah. And I think we're all happy with the time we've had now to polish this thing for January. So, yeah, I'm personally going to be disappointed and surprised if we don't hit January. Okay. Right. Well, I'll start with the questions then, I guess. Uh, so, Thunderstar asks, what year does the game arguably take place? Okay, so I don't think we have uh, an exact date written down anywhere in the law to keep things flexible, because whatever bloody date you put down, you're wrong. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, um, but in my head, I think it's a reasonably distant future, because mm -hmm. in the law, I picked up some of the law uh, that was already there when I started, and there's been already this kind of uh, global... Uh, uh, sort of galaxy-wide uh, colonization. Mm -hmm. um, and there's already these phase gates that allow you to travel quickly between different uh, solar systems and such. And yeah. there's already been a huge war. So we must be talking at least hundreds of years into our future, uh -huh. I think. Um, but probably not thousands. That's, that's my ballpark. So Comical Skate just asked a good one. Do you think this is based, uh, Subnautica is based before or after Natural Selection too? I think it's based before. Okay. So the Kara spelt differently. Is that a bigger? Is that a more serious strand of Kara, or are they completely different? Well, you know, I it kills me because I have rewritten sort of some of the unofficial law for natural selection. Um, oh right. I really like stay consistent on law. So this is where I got the dates for for the universe. It's from. Like some, when I first started, mm -hmm. I asked about that world and the team said, oh, all we've got is we've got some kind of some old lore stuff that someone wrote up for us that is not with the team anymore. It's kind of like fan fiction. It's a story of Marines encountering the infection for the first time and, mm -hmm. and all this sort of stuff. And in that story, the virus is, is named after the Mongolian word Kara, which oh, right. is the, the word for... Uh, I forget what it's the, supposed to be the word for, but something like help or save me oh, right. or something. But, you know, I tried to look it up and I could not find that Mongolian word anywhere. Oh, right. So I decided to interpret that as being a rumor mm -hmm. and to make this be the origin of that that naming of the disease. Yeah, this, this oh, okay. uh, sort of translation that's assigned to the disease 
by the PDA in that moment. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. Yeah, okay. what was the question? I forgot. I don't know, I don't know if I uh, answered it. Uh, it was, uh, does the game place take uh, take place before or after? Yep, Natural before selection. Or after, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what happened to the Degassi crew? Are they all dead? Uh, yes, unless uh, someone in the future decides that they're not. Okay. Uh, uh, the, um, the implication is that they're all dead. There's no... Uh, in multiple times in the game, you get messages saying there's no human life signs. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, everything's looking pretty dire for them in, yeah. in their PA entries. Um, however, you know, in principle... I guess that there's no reason why uh, they couldn't be brought back if someone wanted to do some kind of Marguerite Maida DLC, <laughs> maybe. True, yeah. <laughs> there's plenty of opportunity for that. Uh, do you use the Subnautica wiki at all? That was asked by one of the wiki keepers. Yes, I use it all the time. Oh, then. Uh, they'll be happy with that. I literally, I literally have it open in the background right now. What am I looking at? I'm looking at, um, oh yeah, the um, the page for the um, the alien sanctuaries and the laboratory and the arch oh, right. uh because um, I use it basically as a design document. Um, oh. In the old days, you'd write a design document and then you'd design a game which fit the design document. So you'd always have a formal written record of how the game was supposed to be working. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't do that on Subnautica because everyone just generally over the last five years has done what they feel like doing and thrown it in. Mm -hmm. um, and so the best possible guide to what's actually in the game is is the wiki. It's the best thing. So those guys who run that, I'm eternally grateful. They'll be very to happy them. to hear that. They're, they're, as, they're as much a part of the team to me as, as anyone on the QA team or anyone doing balance or anything like that. It's just this essential role. Um, that, that really helps out. Like, I mean, literally, it was a couple of weeks ago we were talking about putting in new hints for the um, to help you find the Lost River when you get close to one of the entrances. And um, and uh, we were arguing, I was arguing with the level designers who implemented the Lost River, mm -hmm. how many entrances there were to it. Right. And uh, we couldn't agree, and, and the wiki was right. <laughs> you know, the wiki is always right. Yeah, they're very, uh, very smart people. Uh... So, Sans the Badass Skeleton asks, which Leviathan attacked the last Degassi base? Uh, I don't believe we're ever specific about that. I think that uh, the implication is that it might be the uh, mate or um, otherwise friend of the one that Marguerite uh, toes back yeah. uh, half dead. Uh, but I don't think anyone ever says, and I don't think uh, I ever chose. Uh, it's just a Leviathan. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter too much, I guess. Yep, that's true. Uh, Chip Charmander asks, uh, will we ever see any specimens of the larger Leviathan skeletons, even just pictures or diagrams? Specimens of the larger... Like the gargantuan and stuff, I assume is what he means. Pictures or diagram. Probably not at this stage. I'm sure we'd like to, and on my list of like last minute things I'm gonna to try to get done is come up with a, a list of um encyclopedia entries and things that could, could have some additional images in them. And I know mm -hmm. Corey likes to work up such images, it's just a question of what there's time for at this stage. But yeah, yeah we might be able to do something for that or maybe recycle some uh concept art, but um it's uh, it, it's not it's not very very likely at this stage. Okay. Uh, where did you get the idea of the precursors from? What was your inspiration? Oh god! You, what was my inspiration for the incredibly original idea? Of <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that do science on things and they're a bit naughty. Um, so uh, there was already when I came on board, the existing story was um, was basically there is a gun on the planet of some kind, mm -hmm. and maybe there's aliens. Uh, and um, uh, we always, we all liked the guns. So we kept the gun and that was aliens, so there were aliens. Um, oh, really? I have never personally liked uh, doing precursor aliens. Oh, really? Uh, I, I find it, uh, it's, it's, it's hackneyed, it's, um, it's hard to, for me to get too excited about it. It's a past tense story, we're not really, seeing who these aliens are and and i kind of it was never for me a big part of the story in my head and just over time it kind of grew and grew and grew 
Um, so yeah, it was it was basically already there, and and I just kind of trimmed it and and <clears throat> tailored it a bit for the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So looking back, if you had complete creative freedom, what would you what do you think you would have done with the story? Well, you know, I was I was reading um I was reading uh, Charlie was working up a, a post mortem document that he shared today, and I was reading that. And they have um, this the ancient sketch of the progression uh, map in the game, which is basically the safe shallows and then going mm -hmm. down to the deep and then a, a cavern at the bottom with the word aliens question mark written <laughs> in it. Um, and um, uh, part of the postmortem is Charlie saying, you know, at some point in development, we basically decided to scrap all of the. Uh, advanced creature interactions, advanced creature behavior, transfuser, mm -hmm. anything modular, anything procedural um, in favor of focusing on the uh, carefully designed uh, experience that we've got today. Um, and and I, I would have really liked the story to be about more about the ecosystem and more about interacting with it and more about mm -hmm. being a biologist on an alien world yeah. rather than, um, uh, you know, exploring more ruined alien mm -hmm. temples. You know, uh, that's yeah. what I would like to do, but that is not what we ended up doing. Um, and it's not that I think what we have is bad. Uh, I, I, think it, I think it can work nicely. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't start any story with ancient aliens if I could help it. <laughs> okay, uh, right. Um, da, 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 da. In the life pod, how do the warpers manage to speak on the radio? Uh, the warpers are machines which communicate via some kind of radio wave type thing, mm -hmm. and your radio intercepts it. Oh, okay. Uh. I'm sure you get asked this one a lot, and Abraxas said that you, this is your favourite question you get asked, is, uh, oh, will the Atlas at least have a chance to become part of the game? What the hell is the Atlas? Do you know... Uh, what? I have no idea what we're talking about. The, the uh, oh, it has a, it has an official name, it's not the Atlas. It's that submarine that the guy made the, the second model for. The, not the second model. He made a, a 3D model for it. It's oh, like another... <laughs> There's a big, there's a big third submarine. Y yeah, that thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, will it ever make it into the game? Not for one o. Uh, uh, everything's to play for after one o, but nothing's decided. Okay. Uh, so, uh, one thousand subscribers zero video challenge asks, you tr you crashed on a water surface directly from space, going at probably three hundred meters per second with no heat shield or parachutes. How did the player survive? Uh. Who says there's no parachutes? I don't know. That's what uh, he said. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I know you can't see any parachutes, but maybe parachutes extend from the top and then somehow and then and then get sucked back in. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I know I haven't mentioned that. Do I? Oh, does it bother me enough that uh, I, I will go into <laughs> the life encyclopedia entry and mention that they all have special parachutes that then fold away magically afterwards? Uh, I don't know why they would do that, really. Uh, so that's not any more plausible than the original. Um, uh, how else would they survive? They're really well built. <laughs> and uh, do they not? Um, uh, maybe uh, do they have? Do they have thrusters on them? Do they? Uh, Possibly. Maybe that's. I. It's bothering me now. <laughs> uh, Sorry um, about that. <laughs> no, no. This is good. This is why I'm. Uh, this is. This is why I'm doing it. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. No, I didn't write anything about life as having thrusters, but you would have thought I might have. Uh, yeah, maybe they got thrusters or something. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll write something in about that. I don't know. Oh, we'll right. see. Um, yeah, I, I haven't worried about that one yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Uh, thank you, 1000 subscribers, zero video challenge. <laughs> uh, Syntax asks, is the Ariadne arm a galaxy or a solar system? Uh, the Ariadne arm is a... Uh, I believe it's part of a galaxy. Okay. I believe that's what it is. I think it's a solar system cluster okay. within a galaxy. Yeah. Cool. Uh, will it be possible... it's a real thing. 
think yeah, I, I think I remember research. I'll have a look on the... St uh, I believe, yeah, I usually... That's the kind of research I usually do, at least Wikipedia. Sorry. Right. You know, not all the science and astronomy is, is quite accurate, but I try. There's an Orion arm. Well, uh, that's close. Which sounds. No, actually, you no. Know, I think I took Ariadne from some of the old natural selection law. Oh right, okay. Like. Yeah, I uh, think that's where it was released, where it was brought back from. In that. Mm -hmm. uh, will it be possible to communicate with the precursors who uploaded themselves to their computer complex? Uh, no, probably not, unless at the last minute I see some wonderful opportunity to do that. But I've avoided any kind of direct alien communication or, or direct, you know, everything is a translation of alien data. None mm -hmm. of it actually is the original stuff mm -hmm. uh, because uh, because I didn't really want the precursors to be a huge part of the story and I wanted them to be off in the background. So uh. <laughs> focus to be there. I wanted them to be they're moving along the story about the infection and the creatures and how they've adapted to deal with it mm -hmm. and how you're going to deal with it. But that's about it. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Comical Skate just asked, do you realise that the skeleton in front of the lab cache is a full-bodied skeleton and not a weird-shaped massive skull like you wrote into the data download? <laughs> the one in front of the lab cache, do I realise it's a full-bodied skeleton? Uh, I haven't looked at that, that model outside of the game, so I don't know if that means it, it looks like it's a, a head I in the game. What do you know? What do you think? I, I think it looked... Hang on, I'll see if I can find it now in the game, because I can't... I remember what it looks like, and I know it, it could be either. I remember looking at it and thinking that could be either, and it's not clear to me, so I'm going to call it a head, because that implies it's bigger, and therefore that's more yeah. fun. That's what I remember doing. I, if, it, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it really looks like, like a whole thing, then I should change it. Uh, let's see. I think it's because the front of the skull, or whatever it is, is like really small compared to the rest of the thing that's above the Lost River and the teeth and the eyes are like... Uh, no, no, the, the thing is there's holes in the kind of main centre bit of the skull that look like they should be for limbs I think is his point. Right. I, uh, hmm. I, I don't know. But that's, that, don't know. that's what he said. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> uh, hang on. Lost the questions. Oh, great. Okay, uh, where were we? Um, what happened to the Twisty Bridges biome? Uh, it got cut because of reasons. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know exactly that one, but a combination it will be of time and uh, not really needing additional space mm -hmm. to tell the story or for gameplay. We have a lot of space that we're not using too much around the edges of the map as it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that something like that will be why. Uh, but I'm sure it's on the list of possibles for DLC. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Comical Skate is now screaming <laughs> at me that the, uh, the reason why he thinks it's not a skull is because there's ribs inside it. Apparently. R ribs inside it? Yeah. Huh. I uh, don't remember seeing those ribs inside it. Um, there might be something on the wiki with the picture of the insides. Yeah, I'll um, I'll take a look. Um, I suppose it wouldn't necessarily... Look at it, I'm just desperately trying not to have to redraft even more stuff. <laughs> no, may, you know, just because there's ribs inside it doesn't mean that it's... No, don't, don't know, feel pressured into anything. It's science. It's alien alien worlds, anyway. They could have ribs in their heads. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jack Desnack4512 asks, is the gun on the island the only one on the planet? Uh, is it the only one on the planet? Um, so I think uh, we were never specific about this particular one. Um, I have in mind that there might be additional guns, but I kind of have in mind that this thing's pretty... <laughs> it's, it's the old, uh, if in doubt, aliens did it <laughs> yeah. solution. Uh, I have in mind that this thing might be able to fire something kind of around the curvature of the planet. Yeah. Uh, because aliens. Um, yep. So that's one possibility. And the other possibility is, yeah, that maybe they had, like, you know, one 
gun on each pole or maybe they had a few mm -hmm. um i think that's possible uh one reason that it's it's left vague is is just to kind of leave a space if anyone wants to do additional areas of the game for a dlc or whatever mm -hmm. um if we're non-specific about that stuff it gives people plenty of room to say oh and there was this other whole alien thing going on on the other side of the planet you know or whatever they want to do mm -hmm. um so trust that there is some way for it to shoot down ships wherever they are um but but we're, we're not specific about how many guns. Okay. Uh, Marcus, I've already asked him about the Degassi survivors, and he said at the moment it looks pretty bad for them, that they're, none of them are alive, as, as far as we know, I think is what is, what, what is overall. Yeah, unless I, I or someone works magic, yeah. writer magic, and uh, brings them back to life for follow-ups. Uh, what is the uh, 24 Hercules asks what is the identification of the player and what are their obligations to Alterra? <laughs> yeah, people have been hassling me to, to pin this one down for a while. Uh, so it was always it was always my idea that you would be as as some people guessed uh, that you would be uh, uh what's the name uh, uh, uh chief uh chief uh, uh, whatever it is third assistant technician uh Riley <laughs> Whatever I call it. The idea was you'd be you'd be the sort of janitor, oh, more okay. or less. All right. But I haven't ever worked that up into a thing, and I uh, I think I can never remember if I cut that text or not. But somewhere at the very, 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 very bottom of my list of polished things, uh, like the really the list of really nice things I'd like to do in the last two weeks, if I can get two weeks free before release, uh -huh. is do something with that. Um, but I don't want to just throw in the name somewhere randomly for no reason because it does nothing dramatically. If I can think of something nice to do with it, then I will do something with it. Otherwise, it's going to live on eternally as uh, a non-specified thing. But okay. I guess this will make Chief Riley the sort of default uh, default canon option. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh... Vincent asks, is the Gary fish inspired by Spongebob's pet, Gary? Uh, the, I have no idea. It was already the Gary fish when I started. Oh yeah, it's been that for a while, hasn't it? Uh, Ms. Muk Muk Cookie, uh says, could we ever see character customization like gender or skin tone? Uh, we could. That was on the, um, certainly gender was on the list of, uh, Things that we were trying to get for 1.0 and got scrapped, um, and therefore is on the cutting room floor mm -hmm. uh, as far as options go for future updates after 1.0. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's all to play for after that, like I keep saying. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing's decided. No. I have no idea what's going to get in and what's not, but that's certainly something that's on the list. Okay. Da uh, Edge Lord 666 asks. What do you imagine the precursors look like? Uh, yeah, I try not to imagine what the hell they look like. <laughs> um, uh, their bases do... They, is, the bases seem to imply that they have some kind of uh, kind of regular corporeal body mm -hmm. uh, because they have kind of ramps and yeah. physical force fields and things like that. Um, they kind of, it's implied that they talk with their computers telepathically so mm -hmm. and that they're maybe uh, somewhat bio augmented, mm -hmm. uh, sort of. Um, they, they they may be some mix of, of organic and machine. Mm -hmm. uh, that it's mentioned that they're kind of grown from seed somewhere, um, but the most of it is left vague intentionally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, because uh, yeah, you know there's. <laughs> There's so many stories in Subnautica. It really is kitchen sink design. It's not, you know, classic good narrative design. Now, good narrative design is pick a single story, have a couple <laughs> of side plots maybe, but yeah. stick with it. And and we have this story about the Aurora survivors, <clears throat> about the Degassi survivors. We have all of this stuff about fish, all of this stuff about the world, and all of this stuff about ancient aliens and infections and uh -huh. everything in there. And ultimately, something has to give, and that is me picturing what the hell these things look like. <laughs> uh, what uh, Ninja Miner 39 says, what do you think happens to the remains of the Aurora crew? Because we can't, we don't find any, do we? Yeah, they get eaten by the, uh, is it the cave crawlers? 
Oh yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Uh, Those yeah. Were weird things. Uh, I believe it says this. And in... other creatures. Yeah, I believe yeah. it says this in the game in the PDA somewhere. But how long is the player unconscious before he wakes up? It says T minus two hours, doesn't it, or something like that, in the data bank. I possibly? think we played around with putting a number on that, and I think I cut the number at some oh, right. stage okay. recently because uh, some reason there was something about. I mean, that, that number's difficult because the shorter it is, the less plausible it is that um, everyone's managed to die in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but the longer it is, the less plausible it is that you survive that kind of head injury. <laughs> yeah. So, so there's no... It's the same problem we have with the Emperor, where the older she is, the less plausible it is she's alive, and the uh, younger she is, the less plausible that this whole thing has evolved around her. So it, it's mm -hmm. kind of... Um, it's it's one of those tricky ones. So I imagine it's a, it's a number of hours. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, Scott Duncan asks, why is there storage on the rocket? No bloody idea. Someone. <laughs> yeah, I've I've seen the question asked internally, and I haven't seen an answer. Uh, somewhat at some stage, it was talked about uh, being able to take stuff with you, and that somehow influencing something, but no one was sure quite what. <laughs> And whoever built the rocket put it in, and um, you know maybe I imagine that we are. I don't know if we are, but I imagine we might track it, and it will go in your save game, and there's some potential it will be used in the future. But really, I do not know. Okay. <laughs> uh, Science Core says, was it hard for you to think of a base for the Subnautica story? You know, it was um, it was a little bit hard because. The whole thing was... It, it started with certain restrictions, like the gun, um, and, and the gameplay restriction of whatever's happening, the big secrets at the bottom of the ocean. So there's got to be something waiting for you. There's got to be some payoff there. Mm -hmm. And we went through a lot of iterations on what that payoff would be. Um, and uh, that was tricky <clears throat> to get... To get something that fit and we continued to change our ideas around what that was going to be all the way through pretty much the first year year and a half of development and we were still making decisions on on the end game kind of six months ago <laughs> yeah. um so uh yeah it, it was it was tricky um but at the same time all the answers were there already in the game because the game was already so fully formed before we started thinking about the story yeah um, so uh, it did kind of fall into place itself. It was obvious that whatever was going to be done, it was going to have to involve some kind of huge sea monster and some kind of thing that you do that pays mm -hmm. off and fits into the themes of the thing and fits in with this alien gun somehow. And you know, yeah. there's 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 only so many building blocks there and so many different ways that they go together. Mm -hmm. uh, do 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 do. Uh, da, da, da. Comicals Kate asks, why did Altera make a ship that can only fit one person when they probably expected there to be more than one survivor? <laughs> um, I think that they figured uh, they didn't know how many survivors. Uh, it would not be efficient to send a ship which would fit all possible survivors. True. Uh, and so there is no correct size of ship. The bigger you make it, the higher the risk that you're throwing more resources at it than necessary. Mm -hmm. You send a 10-person ship, and there is only one survivor. That survivor's kind of knackered, because they've got to get 10 times more resources to build this thing. Yeah. So if you send one ship, uh, then mm. um, it's uh, at least going to s <laughs> split the... I'm making this up on the spot. Uh, <laughs> that's the best I've got. That's right. Uh uh, Yonatan Rufri asks, is there a chance for an expansion into the void? It would be a great chance to show how big creatures can be without limitations of terrain. Yeah, you know, I don't think uh, we've talked about that. Uh, it sounds interesting to me. I think it'd be nice to do. It's going to be a bit tricky one because the void is so huge. Yeah, just a bit. Uh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it, it, yeah, I don't know how you would get like a localized experience, but I suppose what you could do is you could extend a biome in one section of the void down, mm -hmm. and we could go just a hell of a lot deeper and have something down there. 
Um, it's it's worth uh, yelling about somewhere on the forums or on the trellos or something mm -hmm. to get that on the list as something for people to think about if there's a uh, desire for that. Okay. Uh, people are spamming about the Arctic biome. Is there any word on that since last week? <laughs> Can you guess what my answer is to this? You you don't know, and it's a possibility after V1, but it's not for certain. Yes. Oh, there you go, then. Uh, d d d d d d d d is there a possibility of a Subnautica 2? Uh, can you guess what my answer is? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I, uh, this, one's, this one's more open. Um, okay. I, I, what I, the impression I get is that there is going to be a strong focus over... Mm, at least a year and probably more mm -hmm. um, on uh, updates for Subnautica. Uh, I, I don't know that, it hasn't been agreed, but I know there's people on the team who would be very happy to work on it. I know that there's demand out there in the audience, so that's almost certainly going to happen, I would think. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I wouldn't imagine a sequel is anywhere near. Okay. If, if, okay. if that happens. Um, um, uh, do, 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 do. How, do you know how far the rocket is through development? Is it like 1% one, 1 complete? Is it 100% complete? Uh, it's 99.5%. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it's all done. Uh, we're just polishing. Uh, is weather something you'd like to see in the game? Yeah, love to. Uh, it's on the list for maybe after 1.0. Oh, is it? That would be uh, good. Yeah, like everything, like every popular idea you can come up with is on the list for possibly after 1.0. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, all, it's all been talked about, you know, weather was on the list for possibly pre-1.0 at some stage. Uh, it's, um, so, yeah, all that stuff is, is potential. And I think to some degree, the more people yell about it, the, mm -hmm. the more likely those things are to happen. Okay. Uh, oh, Abraxas has just joined, and he's told me to ask hey, you... He told me to ask you to tell him about Abraxas Prime. Uh, uh, so, um, on Abraxas Prime, um, a, uh, a small colony ship uh, landed uh, successfully. Mm -hmm. um, however, uh, they were cut off uh, from communication uh, with the outside world and a whole bunch of their stuff uh, malfunctioned, meaning they weren't easily able to build habitats and survive. Mm -hmm. uh, however, they had a lot of guns and people, and factions quickly evolved, and they went to war and started cannibalizing <laughs> one another um, until uh, there was just one really fat guy left. <laughs> um, and uh, and um, he... Uh, was then eaten by a local creature and um, <laughs> later on some people discovered the evidence and banned weapons forevermore. <laughs> that was uh, very impressive if you just strength. made that up. I just made that up. That was very impressive. Okay. <laughs> um, that, yeah, that was, that was much darker than I expected it to be. <laughs> I was expecting well, it to be a simple one. <laughs> We're on YouTube, so I can get away with it here. On the, in the game, I have to keep our uh, 7 plus rating. Yeah, you do. Oh, Bippity Bop, Bop, Bop is going to make a wiki page about Abraxas Prime now. He's taking that as great as, as word. Um, are there any uh, possibilities of adding new base building parts that you know of? Uh, uh, for after 1 0? Yeah. Uh, yes, there's a possibility. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's pretty much. I don't much... know what they'd be. I don't know what I'd like to see. Uh, I'd like to see. Um... I don't know what else you could add, really. Yeah, it's 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 maybe stairs. I want I want more stuff to do in the base, kind of. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, I definitely like more. Like I really like aquariums and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, I like more. Actually, that would be the actually that would be my number one thing was. Anything involving creatures, anything I can do with creatures, I kind of, it's a bit sinister, but I kind of want to be able to, like, capture a creature and stuff it and hang it on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it kind of goes against my environmental uh, ideals, but um, I, I, I just think I, anything, anything where you bring the creatures into the base and do interesting things with them is, is bloody awesome in my book. Yeah, well, it's what Bart did, isn't it? So, 
Yeah, right, yeah. He, he dissected things, even though yep. he loved nature. So, you know, it's yeah. a necessary evil. Um, is there... Oh, yeah, I was, I was going to ask this, actually, but I couldn't remember his name. It, can we have some information about Craig McGill? <laughs> yeah, uh, um, wait, uh, what do you want to know? Uh, He's the Star Wars guy. Yeah, he, um... He uh, he was a um, an intrepid explorer of uh, new worlds who found himself in sticky situations uh, more than once. Um, <laughs> in fact, so, some people, uh, some uh, cynics in the press, uh, used to suggest that he was um, actually a very poor explorer and uh, made all his money by selling the books about his adventures uh, once he came home. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, he um, Craig. Uh, that time he he, he uh, uh, kidnapped a, a tame star wall. Yeah, um, <laughs> star wolves. Uh, these these vast uh, vast ocean going uh, not ocean going uh, space faring uh, creatures, which are, which are often tamed and uh, uh, little uh, little survival bubbles uh, are attached to their back so they can be ridden through space at, uh, at, at reasonably reasonably high speeds um, it's actually it's actually he um, uh, although he, um, he spent a long time eating some very unpleasant things on on that particular planet it is it is taming the star wall that was most uh, most impressive because um, to to tame one of those creatures, um, you really you first have to get on its get on its good side, and um, they're um, they're very sexually driven creatures. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, uh, Mr. McGill has Poor gone uh, has gone very far uh, to uh, ensure his survival over the years. Oh God. I Poor Craig. <laughs> you should put that into the encyclopedia. I can't. The Americans don't allow anything sexual. Oh, ugh. Ugh, Americans. I'm just kidding. Most of my viewers are American. Uh, love you all. I shouldn't say that. But it is. It is slightly unfair to the censors because we are trying to make it, you know, acceptable to everyone, you know. And I think, I think, I think not everyone wants their kids uh, reading. Uh, Stories about it got a seven <laughs> rating, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> it got a seven, didn't it? Uh, was it? I saw uh, Charlie yes. tweeting about that. Yeah, that's yeah, very so, good. Uh, yeah, I accidentally put the word piss and screw in the game the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got in trouble for it, so <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> yeah, because um, I think in one of the uh, Degassi things, Maida says, or Maida, however you pronounce it, uh, she says. Um, Jerk, but the encyclopedia said ass, or oh, something yeah, like that. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just, that no, that I think we're allowed ass. Oh, I, think I just changed it because yeah, I think we're allowed screw as well. Oh, but I'm not sure with the seven. Um, but uh, yeah, screw as long as it's non-sexual is is okay apparently. But <laughs> on the edge, which is exactly where I wanted to be, but <laughs> we're playing it safe. Um, uh, no, ass I just didn't like in the line. I originally it was assholes, which okay. worked. I liked the, the the it's the it's the rhythm of the sentence. Mm -hmm. Self-absorbed assholes works. Self-absorbed yeah. asses doesn't work. <laughs> that sounds very scientific. Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, so that went to we. I just asked her in the studio. Well, just just give me any other word. And we got works. Um. People, people want spear guns, but I'm just going to say now, no. Uh, 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 will there be an option to ditch the rocket and ride a Star Wall? No, that would be bloody awesome. <laughs> Can you imagine? It, it would have been a good ending. Like the the Emperor's like, yeah, I can't, I can't cure you, and and um, there's no rocket, but get get on my back, and I'll, <laughs> I'll fly you home. That would be a pretty damn so can, awesome you, ending, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be yeah, amazing. I'm, I'm kind of reluctant we didn't do that now. But no, <laughs> the the Star Wall ending isn't going to be in. You never know for DLC. Oh, DLC, Star Wall DLC. I want that. Um. What is your favourite creature? Uh, I don't believe in favourites, uh, <laughs> but um, uh, I was very happy with what we ended up doing with the peeper uh, mm -hmm. in, in linking it into the story. Um, uh, and the peeper is the hero of the game. 
I mean, it, it is kind of the classics. I guess I, I'm kind of tame, kind of tame in my creature taste. I, I mm -hmm. like the stalker. Yeah. Uh, um, I I like some of the small fish, uh, but um, and the, I mean, you've got to like the cute fish. You've got to. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. he's pretty cute. He's like a pug of yep. the ocean. Yeah. Um. Uh, no name, no shame. The full release is scheduled for January twenty third. Is it? Sounds right. Okay. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Someone yep, else just said that. Okay. Party in the San Francisco Aquarium. I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Monterey Bay thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That thing. Whoa. Sorry. That scared me. <laughs> I I was just playing the game and a warper. Jumped. I'm on the island, the gun island. Warper just jumped out of the ocean onto the island about 20 feet into the air and landed quite close to me and then walked away. <laughs> that was quite scary. I thought that was they a new can creature. Be scary, then. Can't they? Yeah, I thought it was a new creature. Oh, right. Okay, back to normal. Um, will there be voice acting for the player? Uh, I don't think it needs not. it really. Pro yeah, probably. Uh, certainly. Nothing different than what we have now. Mm -hmm. uh, Simon may end up adding some more sounds, uh, but no, it was I, in a way I regretted it because it would have been a really a big opportunity to bring a lot of character and, and warmth to the game that's otherwise lacking. If yeah, the player character was commenting, I think. But at the same time, I've done a lot of these kinds of first-person games where you're exploring a world and there's a past tense story and. Uh, often when things are talking to you, people, they don't like it that much. It gets in the way, you're trying to explore the world, and if this guy is always commenting on what you're doing, mm -hmm. uh, it, can take away, it can take away from that, and it also it doesn't let you project so much of your story onto it. So we made no. that call early not to give the player character a personality and a voice, mm -hmm. uh, whether you know, it would have been a different kind of experience if we'd gone that way. Um, but, uh, we didn't. Um, Pure Thunder has a good question. Can you provide a backstory to the ancient earth blade? Oh, uh, so, um, the real story with all of those artifacts is that, um, uh, Corey wanted something to decorate that antechamber with, and, uh, they're a collection of, um, old props from other games and demos and things and uh, also a few new things uh, worked up for this this mm -hmm. game um, and he said here's the things write, write something uh, he said do you have any ideas for things and that's where the new things came from um, and, and write something for the others uh, so uh, the earth blade yeah I thought that was fun I think I think I took out I don't remember if I did but I think I took out the Mongolian Bit. Yeah, it used to say Mongolian. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like. I as much as I liked. I did like it, but I didn't like the uh, the suggestion that either there was a direct link between Mongolians and these aliens, <laughs> or otherwise that there was this completely accidental and very unlikely link. Uh, it was just too far, so I took that out. But um, the story is. These guys have been around for a very long time, and back in those Mongolian days, I guess they, I guess they came along uh, and took that blade. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, it's uh, it's an assassin's blade, isn't it? Yeah, it's um, yeah. It, it was used to kill some heads of state at the time. <laughs> um, I, I don't have a I don't have a longer story than that. For it. <laughs> that's, that's right. Um, Uh, what is keeping the warpers running if they are bionic? Uh, they're connected to the main power source, aren't they? Somehow. Is yeah, that... they 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 are somehow uh, yeah repairing themselves from the main power source. So when you go to the thermal plant, uh, you find there's something that says some percentage of the energy is being used up by those warpers. Mm -hmm. uh, we're never specific about the mechanism by which they acquire the energy. Uh, Possibly they are collecting ion cubes from mm -hmm. somewhere. Uh, maybe some, I could write that in somewhere. There could be an ion cube inside each of them. Uh, but um, yeah, they, they are they are getting power from the main grid one way or another. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I've only kind of just realised this, but wasn't there in the antechamber? Wasn't there originally the idea that that the uh, ion crystals were going to get like blasted by the thing above it, like to show that they're being created? But it's not. Does it? Has it been taken out? God, I don't know. Uh, I have never actually bothered to go to that thing with a prawn suit and check out what happens when you use it. Um, uh, so, yeah, I don't know. There, there is also a scan that I wrote up for that, but I don't think it's working right now. It's on my no, list of things to look at. Oh, right. That would be interesting. Uh, how much longer do you have? Because... Oh, we can keep talking. Okay, more, that's we're, fine. We're reasonable. We still have a lot of questions sound. pouring in on the on the okay. chat. So, um, uh, I'm just there's so many to read through. Hang on. Um, is the rock puncher concept dead? It seems okay, but I respect it if there isn't. If if it isn't, since they don't want terraforming. Uh, yeah, so it's dead right now, uh, as ever. There's some chance that it might come back after 1.0, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, that was part of a, a slightly different, older vision of what the game was, so I think it's less likely than some of the other things on the list. Um, it was actually, it was good, you know, it was back in the days when there was still some potential for the, the whole sort of creature interaction behavior stuff and um back when you know there's going to be kind of more stuff going on in the aquarium with rock punches and floaters and all those mm -hmm. weird creatures that have these unusual behaviors we're going to be somehow the uh, using them to to keep the emperor alive and this sort of stuff mm -hmm. um but uh yeah that, that's complicated as hell and it's not in uh will there be Oh no! Uh, he says, "Will there be any more creatures added?" But I might as well just say, uh, "Not before V1." <laughs> uh, what was the backstory to the Bite of Leviathan thing? People call it a Bite of Leviathan. That's not its real name. Uh, <laughs> the the uh, disease research facility. Yeah. Leviathan thing. Uh, it's um, what whatever I wrote. Uh, I, think, um, I think I'm actually in roughly that area of the script right now on, on what I'm polishing, so oh, right. it, might, it might be about to get a, a redo or not. Um, uh, yeah, I don't have fleshed out backstories uh, That's right. for those guys. Um, on my list, uh, the, the, the big sort of final task on my list is <laughs> something I, I'm for some reason calling advanced ecosystem uh, science. And... Uh, I just kind of I want to add some um, I want to try and pull together a whole bunch of the ecosystem law mm -hmm. uh, and tie it in a bit more strongly with kind of egg hatching and uh, the life cycle and the infection uh, and also I suppose the, um, the the ancient fossils and try and draw some evolutionary lines and things. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, it's on the list and I might take a look at that and try and flesh out what that thing actually was a bit more if there's time um but mm -hmm. uh yeah right now it's a it's a damn big things that thing that eats smaller things mm -hmm. uh bippity asks uh was it meant to be implied that the sea emperor contacted the degassi crew is that why margaret wanted to go deeper and i assume that's the visions that bart talks about yes that is the implication okay um uh yeah uh, do I have anything more to say about that? Probably not, not really. Uh, no, I, I uh, basically, uh, somewhat, I think jo Jonas is great, um, our lead programmer. Mm -hmm. Um, he, uh, he calls out a lot of, he, he's, he's very German, <laughs> uh, I'll be about it. Um, very German, and he, he, he's very precise, and he calls out a lot of, um, inconsistencies and, uh, and such. And, um, that was one that he called out, I think. So, yeah, if, 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 this thing is telepathic, which was something we introduced later on, mm -hmm. and hence it wasn't in the Degassi story. Um, if this thing's telepathic, why didn't it contact them? Yeah. Uh, which is a fair point. So, it is. Uh, yeah. So now they have visions. Cool. Uh, speaking of eggs, is there a possibility, or would you like to see a Reaper egg? Uh, yeah, I, I, I sure I'd like to. Why not? <laughs> 
um, yeah, kind of, kind of wouldn't fit easily in in aquariums and things. Uh, <laughs> um, I feel like I feel like there's a lot more we could be doing with aquariums in terms of the creatures you put in there. Right now, they're all just friendly to everything, and it'd be yeah. fun if you actually needed. You know, wouldn't it be cool if you could build like a mini ecology of, of um, you know mini reapers that feed on uh, yeah you know, mini mini um, gasopods. Yeah, uh, like a miniverse uh, yeah, in your base. Exactly, that, that would yeah. be so cool. Yeah, and then reintroduce terraforming for it. Uh, since the Sea Emperor is intelligent enough to have some sort of philosophy about reincarnation, when there were more of them around prior to Karad, did they have some sort of society or religion? Certainly, yes, I suppose they did. Yeah, is right. the short answer to that. There you go, Bip. Uh, you should put that on the wiki now. <laughs> uh, will there be a chance for a Cyclops dock for bases? Uh, I think... Uh, I don't think I'm speaking out of turn if I say I think that on the list of maybe what after 1-0. Okay. Uh, that's... Anyone else got any more questions? I'm, I'm just reading back up to see if... How long did it take to make Subnautica before it was released to Steam and how, and other stuff that would let you play it? <laughs> oh, I think... Um, I was reading this document today. Uh, I think it was roughly a couple years maybe 18 months mm -hmm. something like that uh, b -b 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 -b. maybe if the rock puncher isn't going to get added you could at least implement the model somewhere in the arctic and make it look like it's frozen in the ice that would be pretty cool that would be pretty cool add uh, it to the list <laughs> uh, oh, someone asked what is the size of the planet compared to Earth oh you're watching it as well one. that was on the list uh yeah, I just opened it up. Oh, okay. Um, oh. Abraxas just asked, uh, what was your favourite thing to write slash rewrite and what was the most challenging? Uh, okay, I'll do the size first. I think the planet's a bit smaller than Earth. Okay. I think it is, and I think the, um, I think the way the sea moth uh, kind of floats a little bit when it leaves the water surface slightly suggests that the gravity is a bit lower but you wouldn't really notice because you're underwater most of the time mm -hmm. uh, um, and that also explains why it's a little bit floaty when you're on dry land sure yeah uh, so i think it's i think it's a little bit smaller than earth yeah um and what was my uh, favorite um, to work on and redraft yeah what was your favorite thing to write and rewrite and what was the most challenging i think um you know, perversely, I really enjoyed writing the um, the uh, write up for the equipment at the, uh, that I did right at the start of the project, mm -hmm. um, because I am a sucker for law and fleshed out worlds and making mundane things seem real. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, yeah, I enjoyed that uh, rewriting. Um, uh, I guess. Uh, Probably rewriting the dialogue bits because um, they always start off really bad and get lots shorter and hopefully better. Mm -hmm. um, they're kind of the easiest to redraft. Um, uh, what was the most challenging? Uh, probably... Um, <laughs> Quite a lot of it was challenging. <laughs> I would say um, it was uh, it was hard, kind of um, keeping up. You know, part of it actually. I tell you what's the most challenging is mm -hmm. um, the fact that we. Uh, yeah, it wasn't built from the ground up as a particular kind of game. You know, it started as one thing and went through a whole bunch of iterations, which is cool. That's why it's the game it is today. But yeah. At the same time, behind the scenes, it means that it wasn't built to handle any of the things that it now does. Uh, and that means uh, uh, there's not the world's cleanest, smoothest uh, system for implementing story stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's, like, for any one thing, there might be three or four different files that I have to edit to get that thing working in the game. 
um, <laughs> and that's a lot of different places with a lot of different dependencies for things to go wrong, and it's a little bit precarious in that way. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's that's been one of the more challenging bits. Uh, what are you most proud of? Uh, oh, uh, ask me again once it's out and <laughs> we've got some uh, reviews in. Okay. Uh, I think, uh, let me think, um, maybe, uh, <clears throat> I think, I think right now it might be, um, the generally, like I would say, the, the fleshing out of the sort of background law and the world. Um, mm -hmm. I, obviously there's going to be like, there's going to be plot holes and inconsistencies and, and such. Um, but, uh. I you know I I just I, I love playing the sort of game where you can go up to anything and find out something about yeah. it and then see it going about its life and the simulation of that is pretty simple in the game but um, uh, for me it, it, it adds uh, some some real character to the game. Mm -hmm. um, I th I think I think we probably know the answer to this and I don't know if you watch Anthomnia. Do you watch him? Have you heard of him? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, he says. Do you know why Anthomnia has a save where Reapers spawn in the safer zone? I think the answer to that is he spawns them in. For the, for the drama of the video. I don't know if that's for certain, but I think that's what he does. Um, JGB, he, I don't think you code, do you? You just write the narratives and stuff. Uh, yeah, I am um, the, the closest I get to coding is editing... Um, assets in unity uh to hook up like uh compound goals and things like this so where um you know uh, where where uh, the radio is triggered after you do this thing or that thing um, mm -hmm. i set up the systems to do that um but that is as close as i get to doing anything technical on this particular one mm -hmm. um is the emp ability of the crab squid something that evolved as a way of combating ampules uh, that's a good yes. point. And I should write that in. Yeah, that's a very good point. Nicely done, Bip. Um, t t t t what biome do you wish was in the game that isn't? Uh, I think. Uh, ooh. Um. Arctic would be cool. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I think the um, I think there's some really cool potential gameplay around ice. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um. Uh, the, 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 the. Is there? Oh, oh, I, there's been one that asked a while. It's not on the list now. But what do you think there is on the planet apart from the volcano that you play on as the kind of <clears throat> playing area? Yeah, so we're never specific about like how much is there and how much life is there elsewhere on the planet. Um, so I think there's a potential that either uh, um, the infection kind of naturally came to a halt somewhere, although I guess it's kind of unlikely given what we know about it. No, scratch that. Uh, I think everything must have got infected, but I think there's the potential for some other pockets of life uh, uh, where um, the geology of the planet is uh, supportive of it, and where those, uh, where another emperor or group of emperors might have survived, we mm -hmm. don't know if that happened. Um, okay. But I think quite a lot of the planet is going to be barren, either because of the infection or because of um, the natural geology of the thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's been quite a bit of debate on this. I don't know if it was ever resolved because I didn't really look into it. But is you know the the meteor at one of the uh, precursor caches was that there before the precursors or did it crash? The meteor. Yeah, the the, the big meteor hole. Oh god, I don't know about this. Wait, uh, it's it's maybe it is. It is like it's kind of the meteor hole makes the entrance to the precursor cache, or it broke. Into the precursor cache, one of the, one of the two. Which 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 uh, cache are we talking about? Uh, I don't know how to describe it other than the, the meteor one. I'll, I'll see if uh, Bippity or someone comes up with it. Uh, I can't. I'll, I don't I'll, know, I'll, man. I'll have a look. Go to. Oh, 
Let's see if there's a command to go to it. Go to... Uh, okay, that doesn't help me. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sure... I'm sure uh, oh, June's... The June Sanctuary, it's called. Apparently. June. Yeah, okay. How do we know that's a meteor hole? Uh, it says it, doesn't it? Or does it not? Or is that something we've just assumed? I can't even remember anymore. It says it on the wiki, but I have never said that because oh. uh, I never thought about it before. <laughs> uh, maybe there's some reason why it really... So my own thinks it really looks like a meteor hole in particular, as opposed to regular erosion. Um, I see in the screenshot on the wiki that one of the precursor things has been knocked on its side. Yeah. Uh, um, so maybe, or I don't know, I don't know where the hell that meteor came from. So <laughs> I'm not sure that is a meteor hole. I don't know. Dippity said his his answer to that was because there's a meteor in it. <laughs> so I I don't know. I don't, I. I, I Hang on. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know either. But yeah, that's 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 what he says. Uh, what are the chances of the Degassi and the Aurora crashing at the same area? Very. Oh god, almost zero. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now I think. Um, let's see. Uh, I think that. Um, I think that uh, it's possible that maybe um, they were more likely to land in a similar area uh, in virtue of being on the same interstellar route. Uh, so maybe they're, they're both making the same slingshot maneuver uh, kind of around the planet mm -hmm. uh, or coming from the same direction and therefore they're at least on the same plane. Yep. And uh, something, and something, something like that. Yep. Cool. Uh, <laughs> can you give us any backstory to the sunbeam? Uh, backstory to the sunbeam. Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel a little bit like it's not <laughs> super fleshed out. Um, but they are a trading ship mm -hmm. uh, that is in the area. This is also something that's a little bit loose. Um, but uh, in the area... Uh, it's um it's it's beyond the last phase gate, so it takes quite a long time to get there. Mm. Uh, uh, and there's very few um, mining operations and such in the area. Um, and yeah, I, I presume that the Sunbeam is is traveling between one of those mining operations and and somewhere else. Uh, uh, they said that I think they're on their way home actually. Yeah. And um, yeah, that, that's that's that, that's the backstory there. I presume they're mm -hmm. carrying ore or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Uh, if you were to write Arctic, if you if you were to write Arctic, would I be right in assuming you'd prefer to keep the precursors out of it and instead keep it to the ecosystem? Uh, I think um, if there was ever a story-driven DLC bit. Um, uh, yeah, I think I, I yeah, th this is me with follow ups. Uh, if I ever, ever do a follow up, um, mm -hmm. and I don't often do it because I kind of, you know, I tell a story and then I go and tell a different story. Um, yeah. When I have done it, I want to do something completely different. Mm -hmm. um, I can see there might be some good argument for having some kind of precursor thing in there. Uh, you know, we could potentially explore that culture a little bit more yeah. but I would I would probably want to take one of the side characters and do more voice acting and do something more character driven mm -hmm. with that and and you know play around see how that's different mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, <laughs> this person has been asking this question for a long time now actually I realize so I'll uh, we can I can ask it to you now, but I think we've already answered it pretty much. Uh, I read somewhere that the Sea Emperor is the biggest live creature in the Unknown Worlds universe. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I uh, I believe that's true. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. 
if you are creating the Arctic right now, which I assume you're not, uh, would you rather it be a floating big ice place, like an ice island, or a underwater ice cave system? I'm sure if Arctic was done, it would probably be both. All right. Oh, cool. And actually, I mean, well, I mean, I shouldn't be so confident, but I, I would think, like, you know, the, our biomes are pretty big, complex places, and if you're going to do ice at all, you know, mm -hmm. we've already established, you know, there's a good thing with the lava castle um, and with the floating island. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, yeah, you know, I, I would think we would probably explore all those ideas. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, I was. Oh, 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 yeah, Sai. Sai. His name is the sound engineer. Is that his yeah. name? Yeah, he tweeted a while ago of a picture, pictures of him recording s footprints in the snow, which mm -hmm. to me suggests that there's a possibility of an island <laughs> if if they were going to do it. But you know, so yes. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. I guess I guess if you were going to do a side. You said you wanted to do, if you were going to do an extra kind of expansion story, you wanted to do it off a side character kind of thing. You could do it off someone suggesting you could do it off Bart, because it never says that he dies. But then, is there any... Yeah, right. I mean, uh, basically, I could do it as pretty much anyone. Mm. Uh, because uh, we have this to, to get our team rating, we uh, or our seven rating, we, we don't have any bodies. No. Uh, so no one formally dies in the game, even though it's implied that everyone dies. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it could be anyone. Uh, I have a feeling I would choose. Personally, I would choose someone other than Bart. Um, mm -hmm. Just because he's kind of the... Um, uh, he's the Mary Sue. Um, it, the, the nerd. Yeah, and he, uh, you know, I, I just the other two characters are more extreme from the Degassi, so yeah, more fun, right? For so, yeah, I just, I just choose one of them. Um, you've written about insects in the data bank entry of the grub basket plant on the floating island, but there aren't any insects seen anywhere. Uh, that is an abstraction of the simulation, and <laughs> not real facts of the world. The insects are there, they're just too small to see. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Uh, uh, Arctic biome is Craig McGill's final resting place. <laughs> <laughs> Although he's, he escaped, though. Unfortunately. Or fortunately. Whichever way. Uh, that guy, he's always getting himself into more trouble. <laughs> he so probably went back be... there. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Um, any more questions? What are some early story ideas that you had that were scrapped? Uh, early story ideas that were scrapped. Uh, let's see. Um, there was one idea that was got. I mean, I, I expect most of this stuff is is online somewhere. My old design docs, and I'd have to go to remind myself. But um, <laughs> uh, one of the ideas was that there was going to be there was going to be some kind of doorway, some kind of. Uh, and I suppose we did do this in the end with the, the kind of prison idea, but um, some kind of doorway holding something back at the bottom of the ocean. Ooh. And it was going to be some kind of evil that maybe, and uh, there was going to be some reason you had to open it or something like that. Uh, there was going to be a whole version without any infection where uh, you're, um, it was going to be incidental that you had to go down and meet the emperor because mm -hmm. there was just something down there that you needed to blast off the planet. So it's going to be a much more straightforward story in that sense. No infection, uh, the gun can just be turned off more or less straight away, or whatever you need to turn off the gun is at the bottom of the ocean, but it's not an infection, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, there was one version where the purpose of the gun wasn't going to be to do with the infection, but rather it was going to be because the planet was some kind of alien wildlife sanctuary. Uh, so it was there to protect the planet from you. Mm -hmm. um, I always rather liked that idea, uh, but um, it didn't have the uh, same kind of, you know, it, it didn't pay out in the end, because mm -hmm. what, what did you do at the bottom of the ocean? What was the role of all of that stuff? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, other things? I mean, uh, I, well, there's stuff that was there before I ever came on the project, which mm -hmm. was, uh, I think, the original ending, 
Uh, didn't have a sea emperor at all. All right. Uh, just had at the bottom of the ocean. I believe there was going to be some kind of teleporter gate, and it was going to be some kind of two thousand one type thing, and you were kind of going to travel through time and space. You're going to go to like an alternative mirror version of the planet. Ooh. And the story was going to start again, and there was going to be some kind of ancient alien who had set all that stuff up. That was gonna. I think they were gonna take over the world, and you had to stop them or something. I don't remember exactly. It was something like Why? that. Uh, and um, I admit, I um, I uh, I uh, eliminated that reasonably quickly. <laughs> Sounds right. Uh, <laughs> Every night, Riot is here. Who is a another YouTuber who's quite substantially bigger than me. So, hi. Uh, hey guys. He said, uh, is Subnautica actually adding Ice, Bo uh, Ice Biome DLC to the game, or is that fake news? It fake news. Yeah, fake Terrible news. news. Fake news. Bad, bad people. Terror. It's sad. It's sad. <laughs> sad. <laughs> uh, we should build a wall in Subnautica um, <laughs> to keep out the Karar. I remember you once wanted to implement a Reefback call translator. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, that's not happening. <laughs> uh, we've got we've got a telepathic emperor instead. Oh uh, right. But yeah, we, well, yeah, substituted it. Um, oh, but Brax. I do want something to do with the reef backs. I really love them, and they yeah, do I do too. Yeah, they're just there. What's going to be that telepathy thing? I mean, uh, yeah, is it out of the question to have some telepathy thing? It's not too late to write and record something, uh, but we don't have off-the-shelf functionality to just have these guys say things to you when you approach them. Mm -hmm. uh, so that would mean me requesting a new feature from someone which is a bit naughty at this stage. Uh, <laughs> and it also feels like a bit of work, but I do want something for those guys. I don't know what, I don't know what to do with them, but I'll try. I promise I'll try. It's okay. on the list. There's a big heading in my creature advanced section which says do something cool with reefbacks. So I'll try. <laughs> okay. Uh... Do ghost leviathans eat only microorganisms? Because the way they look would suggest it. They have no teeth and they live in the dead zone, which only has microorganisms yes. and leviathans. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense and works. Uh, and uh, I don't think I put that in the law, but it is rather, like you say, implied yeah. by the situation. So I'll make that explicit uh, somewhere. Okay. Um, hang on, someone said I guess I'm not going to get noticed again. That makes me feel bad. I'm going to have to scroll through everything now to find it. Uh, so was the Degassi ship completely destroyed to make the abandoned bases we find? Uh, yeah. And was it the same size as the Sunbeam? Uh, more or less. Uh, I, uh, I, um, God, I don't know how much of this is public but i suppose i suppose i may as well break something yeah on, exclusive on uh, drama alert maybe, maybe maybe it's all known what do we know about the trailer what's public about the trailer uh there's some screenshots of the seamoth and uh I, there was something else pretty major and i can't remember it okay. well I'm anyway i think we're gonna actually see the uh degassi oh uh so i think we will see exactly how big or small it is, but I think it is roughly, roughly sunbeam size. You heard it here first, folks. It's a possibility that we'll see the Degassi. There you go. Uh, are cuttlefish natural creatures or genetically modified? Uh, I think they have been genetically modified because you find the egg in the lab and yeah. it's weird as hell and uh, super, super tame. Um... And so, yeah, I think... Although there are ones dotted around the world as well, as the ones in the lab. Are there, are there real... There's real cute fish. Yeah, cuttlefish. like in the... Well, uh, we call them out there cuttlefish. Cuttlefish, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, did I say cute fish? No, I, mean, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. Yeah, um, there's one in the... The one I remember the most is the one in the dunes with that, like, pit fall thing. And it's, it's right in the center egg. of that. Yeah, it's or an egg. Alive. Okay, it's an it's egg. An egg. Ah. So... All right. Well, then maybe they haven't, or maybe they have. Uh, I'll look at it anyway. It's on the list. Um, what's the player going to do after he leaves the planet? 
Uh, you mean, uh, ooh, uh, what should I say? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say nothing on this one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because it's the one thing, one thing that we're sort of trying, not entirely successfully, to hold back is that ending sequence. Okay. Uh, is this stream frozen? Oh no, no okay. I just stopped moving in the game. Um, do do do. In Subnautica, compared to real life, if you got out of your vehicle 1,000 meters down, you'd be immediately crushed. Why does it not work like that in Subnautica? Uh, it's because you're wearing special protective equipment. Well, what if you're not? But you are. <laughs> okay. <Wait. laughs> but you can have bare hands. Uh, yeah, wait, what was the problem? It was about being crushed. Yeah, you don't get crushed if you go, like, 1,000 meters down, but in real life you would. Because even if you if you're not wearing protective gloves, then your hands would get mangled. Surely. Is it is it so strong down there? I d I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not I'm not a diver. All right. Well, in that case, I'm googling it. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> matter either way because no. the answer is for, for because of the bloody infection. That was a nightmare. We got to show that you're infected on your hands. But yeah. You're wearing gloves. What do you do? Like at the end of the day, some bits of plausibility give way to gameplay necessity and mm -hmm. that is one of them yeah. uh the explanation that i tried to give is that you're, you're wearing that that aep suit the whole time and that helps but yeah sure if, if you really get crushed at that depth i mean what am i going to say you know magic <laughs> sci-fi it's, it's an alien world yeah exactly uh, and also bifty just said there's lower gravity than there's earth lower anyway gravity as well yes. yeah that's a good point um, did you do you wish that there were more submersibles? Uh, or are you, or are you sure, happy? Yeah, yeah, I wish there were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think, I think, like maybe ten more would be wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this guy keeps asking me to build a bus, and I don't know what he means. <laughs> I don't know how I build a bus. Uh, uh, would you like the possibility of r being able to build bases on the back of reef backs, as an example of including them more? <laughs> um, building a base on a reef back, I mean, it sounds technically tricky to do, and it sounds like it's going to cause infinite visual <laughs> bugs. Yeah. Uh, like, I literally can't imagine, I literally, I can't imagine any possible way to do that without it screwing up everything. No, because they, so, yeah, they despawn, no, don't they? So. They despawn yeah, when you I mean, go too far away. They, so, yeah. not only that, I mean, what the hell like, is it a clipping issue? <laughs> building, a, building bloody corridors off the back of a, no way. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like a <laughs> <Sorry>. nightmare. <laughs> uh, can you make all of the creatures poo? Nope, I'm just a razor. <laughs> Good question. I can say they poo, but I can't make them poo. <laughs> Um, will lab equipment ever be used to mix enzymes in the future? Uh, I rather doubt it. And what What do you think about the transfuser? Is that something you'd like to see, or is that kind of just nothing now? I always wanted the transfuser. I know it's on the Trello list of things for maybe after 1.0. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, Gargantuan Leviathan in the Void? Uh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> probably, probably uh, any big creatures that get added are going to get added somewhere that is going to be uh, more interesting in the void. Okay. Um, is it bad that a peeper that popped into my base scared me more than a Reaper Leviathan? No, I don't think so. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah, no, that's bad. Is it's it? bad. There's something wrong with you. Yeah. Uh, Address that immediately. <laughs> Um, is there going to be eggs for every sea creature like leviathans that are obtainable because sea dragon and emperor have one but sea dragons is not possible to get? Uh, can't, you, can't, you can't pick up those those others though, right? They're just they're just big. Kids. Yeah, yeah. The the sea dragon one is in the in the yeah. disease research yeah, yeah. but you can't do anything. Yeah, right. Uh, so I don't imagine we'll see those eggs uh, in one o. I imagine that. If there was some new biome, you know, the eggs might be there as part of the the props 
in that biome mm -hmm. in the future, but um, not right now because they're just um, there's nothing you can do with them. They're too big to put in the aquarium. Um, yeah, and they they're, they're not central to the story. Um, do you think ghost leviathans are related to the ghost and crimson ray? They share many features, <clears throat> and you mention a predatory ancestor of the crimson ray that the ghost leviathan may have evolved from. Yeah, they're certainly related. Uh, how closely, uh, I don't exactly know, but I see those similarities. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, is there something I, I mean, you know, it, it, there's, there's one version of this game where we would have built the ecosystem from scratch with a bloody scientist on board and, mm -hmm. you know, probably planned out the evolutionary trees. And that would have been fascinating. You know, yeah. I love Dune and things like that. I love the lore. Uh, so that would have been cool. But that's not the way it went. You know, uh, it's it's um, it looks fantastic. And there are these kind of similarities between the creatures, which are great to work with. And I try and tie those in. Mm -hmm. um, but um, one of the nice things about it is that you can tell your own stories. You can read the individual entries about the things and see how they behave. And you can construct a, your own picture of of, of what the evolutionary chain actually was. Mm -hmm. um, while writing the story, did you think about some way to interact with the precursors that uploaded themselves to the cache? Hey, yeah. Uh, uh, no, not really, because I set myself that restriction of not doing anything that's too direct with the um, precursors. All right. Uh, so uh, no, uh, I you know I can imagine some interesting scenario around that, but it's 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 almost certainly not going to go in uh, at this stage. Mm -hmm. Is that someone playing really good drums in the background? Oh yeah, my my housemate has just started playing. How bad? It's is good. It? No, it's good. It's good. It's not loud at all. It's just nice background beat. <laughs> uh, do you do you think you could make the rock puncher be a tiny little lobster thing that can be tamed and helps you gather minerals from deposits? <laughs> that uh, would be adorable. Someone <laughs> could, not for one. Um, can we take the cute fish home with us? Yes. Yes. No, I don't know. What, what, what do you mean? Is there a plushie? I mean, no, I... I, I make a plushie. Yeah, there should, there should definitely be a plushie for, like, most of the creatures. Um, but can you take it home with you on the rocket? Oh, uh, well, I guess you can put it in storage, can't you? Or put it in your inventory and blast off with it. Guess you could. Uh, who is the person that made the Subnautica music and where can I find them? That is Simon. And you can find him. Is Obby still in the chat? He I don't website, know. But he has a SoundCloud uh, with all of his stuff on it. Uh, let me just see if I can find it. drums yeah right uh, I, I I live in a, a converted warehouse and uh, oh, right. we have, like a little um, musical musical area with some drums we've got a double bass in there right wow. now we've got some guitars and things and, <laughs> and uh, let's see now I can't play some nautica music but why can't Um, what's the next question? I'll keep looking. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, what were the precursor's intentions with the skeleton in the destroyed precursor base in the Lost River? Uh, they are studying uh, leviathans and other creatures. Uh, to learn more about how they uh, lay eggs and how those eggs are then hatched uh, mm -hmm. because they have realized that their survival pins on hatching a healthy sea emperor from which to get a cure. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were in the player's situation yourself... Oh, oh, Bippity Bip Bap Boop Bop has found him, apparently. He's oh, okay, called cool. Simon Chilinski S Y one K one online. Yep. Or Simon Kamikaze. He sometimes goes under. Easier to pronounce. 
Um, if you were in the player's situation personally, would you huddle in the life pod and wait for rescue or try and survive in the horrors of an alien ocean? Yeah, dude, you've got to go out there. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't gonna survive for long in that life pod. You gotta go out there. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to. Uh, a bra- oh, I wouldn't be as adventurous as the player. No. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be like huddled on the Aurora. Yeah. Eating the leftover uh, passengers. Oh right, yeah. The venting machine. <laughs> um, and desperately trying to learn engineering so I could fix the communications and get home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Abraxis asks, where did you, where did the infection come from? Was it made or was it discovered? Start, bloody, he's just trolling me. <laughs> uh, we always have this, uh, me and Corey, the art director, mm-hmm. always have this argument. Uh, did, did they make it or did they catch it from somewhere? Or was it on the planet or what? Um, and uh, I'm carefully never specific in the story for the same reasons I've given a bunch of times. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, it's, it, it is non-specific. Uh, we, what we do know is that they brought it here mm-hmm. to um, find a cure for it. Yeah, and they, um, uh, they caught it first. Yeah, um, whether they got it out of a lab or from nature to Okay. Um, in the future, would you ever consider on adding and expanding on the dead zone slash void to make it more interesting and explorable? Yeah, we, we talked about that earlier. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it'd be nice. It's not like, it's not uh, explicitly on the list right now, but if, if enough people want it and yell about it, then uh, I'm sure it will get on the list. Um, Bip thinks it would be a cool idea if the Kra was actually a bioweapon made by an even more ancient alien race. Could be, could be. That's um, that's that's one of those things that you guys can go nuts uh, <laughs> theorizing about uh, on the boards because um, we ain't saying. Oh, he says um, currently the writing says that it was something they picked up during a routine planet inspection. Oh, I do remember writing that. Yeah, uh, I suppose um, I suppose that's still not specific. What exactly the original origin of the thing is, right? Mm-hmm. That's when it's first recorded being uh, being uh, picked up by someone, but we still don't know. Okay. Um, any more? Is there a possibility that the terraformer will be added to creative mode? Uh, I think, uh, as with all these things, there's always a possibility, but I think it's unlikely. What I do think is going to happen is I think we are going to make sure that we have permanent uh, online availability of the old builds of the game. Mm-hmm. So you will be able to download the old builds with the Terraformer and Terraform to your heart's content. That's a good idea. Um, uh, can I, someone's good, can I get the autograph of the drummer in the background? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know who it is. Uh, um, I'll uh, ask later on. And, uh, if they say yes, I'll, uh, I'll um, scan it and, and stick it online. Uh, what What's the reason for why do um, why did the precursors upload themselves to the computer? Like, what can they what can they do on there that would mean that they should be there instead of dead? Yes, yeah, so I think I think it's um, it's uh, if they're um, if they're partly mechanical in some way, or if they've somehow developed a quite complex interaction with machines, then this mm-hmm. is their you know their stasis. Uh, I, it's non-specific how they think exactly about what they're doing, whether they see it as their uh, you know uh, completely transferred to the machine, or whether they think it's a sort of half half good measure um, mm-hmm. whether they think they change or whatever um, yeah we, we're not specific about that bit but the general idea is that they are preserving something valuable in themselves mm-hmm. for, for presumably for, for later retrieval if anyone in their civilization survived yep. uh, so do you think that there are other precursors left but on other planets dotted around 
No idea. Uh, we, we're not specific about that, but certainly it seems that they uh, suffered a huge enough calamity that um, they're not around this area in any numbers mm -hmm. uh, because they haven't been encountered by the Federation before. Um, and presumably this is also uh, pretty damn far out of their usual neck of the woods. I think it's actually likely that they originated in a different galaxy. Yeah. And this planet, part of the value of it is it's a bloody lot far away from uh, the rest of their civilization. That's the value of, of uh, a remote site for researching infectious diseases. Mm -hmm. um, so if there are any, they'd be a very long way away. Um, but we just don't know. Uh, can your friend play System of a Dime? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can ask. I can ask. Uh, um, uh, 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 would you like to see land creatures as a thing? Other than cave crawlers? Would I like to see land creatures as a thing other than cave crawlers? Um, as with all of these, would I like to questions? Sure. Uh, it all sounds good. Um, but uh, I think in reality, I like whatever creatures we're adding to focus on what we're good at, which is underwater. Mm -hmm. um, so is the, is the lava castle, does that serve any, like... Um kind of purpose or is it a natural formation what because it, it's very well, it looks awesome basically yeah but the castle itself is a natural formation mm -hmm. um and uh yeah i don't i don't recall if we're specific about whether the precursors kind of hollowed it out and built the facility, or whether they built the facility and the castle formed around it over time. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Oh, yes, we are specific because in the art, in the level design, oh. there is that entrance to yeah. it, isn't there, which is yeah. on the outside of the castle. So, oh, I've just found it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so that's what happened there. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, it's not uh, the, the castle <clears throat> exterior is natural. Oh, the the uh, PDA just said the volcanic rock, which has, hang on, uh, the volcanic rock which has formed in this area can be carbon dated to between eight hundred and three thousand years ago. Right. Uh, yeah. So older. Yeah. Uh, can we make some kind of alien fish hamburger? Uh, yeah, you know, one of the things I always wanted because I love the law and the the sort of simulation aspect of it. Right. That's what I'm really excited about. My ideal sort of subnautica sequel. The thing that I, I'd really want to come back for would be Subnautica in space. Yeah. And uh, to have it be a much more simulation focused game. So I want something that's somewhere in between Subnautica and Kerbal. Yeah. You know, uh, where um, you're, uh, there's, there's a little bit more of the kind of management aspect of staying alive and keeping the oxygen and finding different power sources and mm -hmm. so forth. I think that would be yeah. really cool. Um, uh, someone's giving away three iPhone eights to his last three subscribers. I'm sure that's not real. Uh, don't subscribe to. Can I have an iPhone eight? <laughs> My phone is cracked to shit. Um. Uh. Actuamba says, uh, Subnautica takes place on the edge of a volcano, right? Are there others on the planet? Other, yeah, I guess there are other volcanoes on the planet, and I guess there's the possibility that they uh, support life, uh, something like uh, our area does. Mm -hmm. uh... Oh, okay. Uh, who are the? Do you know the names of the voice actors? I do, yeah. That reminds me, we need to get that into the credits. Um, yes, I do. Uh, I will have to look it up, though. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, 
Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look this up in the background. Okay. Um, could the player pre uh, could the player reprogram the precursor droid so that they could be cute little pets? Uh, I think that is possible within the realms of the programming. Uh, I don't think it's on anyone's no. lists right now. Um. Uh, d -d 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 -d. When the baby emperor will become adult, will they be capable of using telepathy like their mother? I guess they would, yeah. Cool. Uh, was the emperor originally planned to be hostile? Uh, I don't think so, no. Uh, uh, I, it, in the trailer, it sure... seems pretty... Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the Emperor model existed uh, before I came on, and yeah, I guess it was a big bad at that point. Mm -hmm. um, but since uh, since some of the earliest iterations of the story, uh, she was she was friendly. Yeah. Uh, ha uh, will our characters ever poop? Gasopod animations would work perfectly. Uh, no, I kind of doubt it. We've got to keep that keep that seven plus rating. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, d -d 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 uh, <laughs> Abraxas has got another banger. Uh, what's up with the giant close moon? Oh yeah, that that shit. I I always thought about um putting an entry in there about the uh, astronomy of the local area, but. I saw so many people flaming the actual uh, physics, the actual plausibility <laughs> of the physics that I thought I'm just I'm just opening up a whole can of worms if I even touch that. Uh, so uh, yeah, not touching that one. Okay, it's a uh, it's a cool it's, thing. It's, yeah, it's yeah, just put it down to perspective and weird gravity and aliens. <laughs> right. Uh, well, oh yeah, yeah. yeah uh, there's also another moon, isn't there? There's the the still one. And the massive one that's there at all times, and the sun. It's a lot of uh, lo there's a lot of things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why so many keys and so little doors? So many keys and so little doors. Uh, as in, there's a lot of precursor keys dotted around the game. I guess that's what they mean. But I I don't think there's, I don't think there's more keys than doors in the game maybe uh our um questioner hasn't found all the doors i don't know <laughs> it's, unless uh, someone know I, th I think i think we have roughly the same number mm -hmm. uh will we ever get the ability to ride certain creatures uh maybe Ooh. uh there's no plan right now okay Disclaimer, usual disclaimer, nothing to agree uh, after 1.0. Mm -hmm. um, but I know people are going to be talking about after 1.0 what they want, and um, I know that has been on some people's lists, so it's a possibility. Uh, there's coffee in the game, so where's the tea? Uh, yeah, good question. Uh, I, it, it, yeah, just the, the something <laughs> the game has against tea. I don't know what it is. It's but, racist um, against British people. Yeah, that's that's just the way it is. Even though I don't like tea, but you know. Uh, who is your favourite Degassi character? Um, Marguerite. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> she seemed she, like the most fun one. Yeah, she's just the most fun. Yeah. Um, did you find the voice actors in the end? I'm still or? looking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, sort of mildly in the background. That's right. Uh, when you started development in Subnautica, did you ever expect it to get this far? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, did. I expected it to get this far. That's yeah. good. I um, I uh, when I when I first started uh, my career, I, I did a whole bunch of AAA games which got cancelled, and oh. I, I got a pretty good uh, a pretty good nose for what's going to get finished and what's not. And uh, my my basic instinct is. Uh, when you see something and it's good, or uh, when you see that uh, the people making it really care about it, it's going to get finished. Uh, 
And when you see also, importantly, that the funding's there one mm -hmm. way or another, that you're not dependent on a publisher uh, to do this or that to keep you afloat, yeah. uh, that, that's pretty important. And when you've got all of that, you know it's going to get there. Um, I was just thinking of a question. Oh, did you know that you are on Wikipedia? Uh yes it is. Oh, that's, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, it took it took it took like a decade of making games before <laughs> someone put it on Wikipedia uh, and uh I, I, I I'm finally on Wikipedia. I'm pretty sure you've made it if you get onto Wikipedia. I've made it, finally, yeah, yeah that's how you know. <laughs> yes it is. Uh, uh, I, 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 I I don't believe that I am on the uh, the Subnautica Wikipedia page. Just in oh, case you're not. any any wiki editors Listening. Yeah, B Bippity is listening. He's a, 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 an editor. Sort, uh, sort I, that I mean, out. I mean, I mean, Wikipedia, not the wiki. Oh, Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, are you talking? Which one are you? What wait, are you talking I, about? I was talking wait. about. Wait. I was talking about Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah, I was too originally. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's just move on from that. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. <laughs> um, Brian Cummings, one of the devs, said in a live stream that the Sea Emperor was always meant to be friendly, but was used in the trailer because they didn't have the Reaper or Sea Dragon modelled. Oh. Okay. Cool. Um, can you save the Sunbeam? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yes, actually. Yes, you can. Oh? Yes. Yep. You can? You can. Yep. Whoa. Um, Confirmed. <laughs> because uh, if you um, just uh, never pick up their radio messages <laughs> they won't bother coming no nope, that's true actually save them by don't by by forgetting that they exist yeah that's good uh that's way. you are on the subnautica wiki apparently the subnautica wiki yeah i, I didn't know that okay well you're on it so apparently you so you think, now i'm now i'm looking looking myself up on the <laughs> subnautica wiki uh i've almost got i've almost got these actor names too that's yeah i should be doing that okay actually. that's right Yes, there's an audio log we have on the wiki that happens if you disable the gun before the sunbeam gets there. Oh, yeah, there's something where they say there's too much debris or something like that. I don't know if that's okay, actually in I'm the posting, game. But... I'm posting these names into the chat. Okay. James Backway. Chris Godwin. That's a very Scottish name. He's not actually Scottish. Is he not? No. Oh. He sounds it. <laughs> yeah, he does. Uh, Ramon Tikaram. Yeah. Why does this stick? Uh, why does the stasis rifle freeze everything except the player? Uh, because programming. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, and and it doesn't freeze everything. It should freeze everything, but it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, so so yeah, that's 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 programming. <laughs> uh, do you know anything more about um, oh, what's his name? Uh, the the emissary Khan guy. Is there any interest uh, more interesting stuff about him that you? Uh. Yeah, there was there was some there was some potential future version of the story that used him more back when um, uh, you know at one stage I had I had a mm, I was going to extend the Aurora Survivor stuff and link that in more with the Degassi a little bit and have right. that kind of thing of it being a secret mission and it leads to them crashing and so there's uh, um, ill feeling amongst the crew that, that the Mongolians were the cause of the crash and mm -hmm. Sakin taking responsibility and so on and so forth um, but uh, yeah at the end of the day they, they, they just didn't support that um, you know uh, the, this isn't um, that might have worked if we were doing a classic sort of linear corridor game yeah, uh, where we could dot out the PDAs and things and tell the story gradually. But as it was, it's way better where the stories and the life pods are a little bit more self-contained. Yeah, and you know, there's there's already like three Degassi bases. We don't need like another ten <laughs> no. uh, Aurora survivors on the floating island. You know, it just doesn't support that. So, 
Kassar didn't end up going as far as as I would have liked him to. Um, but uh, yeah, he's 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 a, um, a sort of slightly Zen Mongolian uh, diplomat type guy who um, uh, reluctantly gets on board this ship to go and hunt down his his um, his mates um, mm-hmm. and uh, crash lands. And and doesn't doesn't make it very much further because <laughs> for those reasons, yeah, he was going to survive and there was going to be some story with him, but but no. So I I assume you wrote the um, encyclopedia entry for him, yeah. Yeah. So was the the prayer he did as he was falling yeah. to his death was that a kind of take on the Lord's prayer in Christianity? Because it yeah, seems I very sort of, similar. I sort of had this idea that that um, in the future everything's a bit mixed up. Mm-hmm. And the religions, as they always have, uh, the the mainstream of the religions updates itself with changing ethics and understandings yeah. of the world. So I like this idea that it was some amalgamation of the Lord's Prayer with, um, I think I looked up uh, a, um, I think it was a, um, it might have been a Christian science prayer. Oh, right. Or maybe some atheist prayers and kind of blended those in there with it mm-hmm. um and uh yeah that that's that's where that came from all right um is the final uh cut scene with the rocket i know you can't say literally nothing literally anything about it but is it a cut scene or is it like you're in the rocket and you can look around it and stuff or how does how does that work? Are you not allowed to say? Uh, you can. I'll say that this isn't. This is just <laughs> setting expectations. Okay. Uh, it's uh, you. You can. You can. You can board the rocket and run around it. But yeah. once you trigger the final launch, uh, it's a first-person cutscene like the intro. Okay. Cool. Uh. Well, we've been nearly been going for two hours. <laughs> Oh wow! Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's yeah, let's we'll, call it. We'll wrap let's it call up. It in five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, we're kind of running in circles now with the questions with people that were joining late and didn't get the early ones. Um, okay, what... great. Well, that, you guys go go back and watch it from the start. Yeah, you should do that. Oh, uh, that one thousand subscribers zero videos guy. He had a good question that you actually wrote something down about, and I don't think he was there when he said it. Uh, what was it? Oh. The thing about crashing without a parachute and stuff. Tom said oh, yeah. that he would like to maybe put something in about that to hold it up or something. I don't know. So, something like that. Oh yeah, I um yeah, I might do that if I uh, if I manage to get around to it. Mm-hmm. Uh uh Why does the uh why do the bases underwater rust? Because uh, they are made of some metals that rust. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, the stuff on the island was built ten years before you crashed. Yeah. It rust. That rusted pretty quick. Uh, yeah. It must have rained yeah, a lot. Think, yeah, I think there might be something in the water. <laughs> Maybe. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, we're kind of going in circles now. Oh, hang on. There's a scrapped. Right. There's a scrapped concept of a single cell landscape. Is that idea totally scrapped, or is there a chance it will be added? I don't know what he means by single cell. Yeah, lands. I don't know what that is. It sounds kind of like the uh, the the membrane tree. Yeah. Yeah, my membrane tree. Last thing, and then then we'll end it. I think. Probably, yeah. Uh, a mem- membrane trees kind of look like, kind of, I don't know, like brains, I guess. Was there anything about that that you you wanted to do, like with membrane trees? Because they they always seem pretty special. And yeah, I, I they always seem special to me, and it's another one of those things like the reef back where I really want something special to do with it. But the in terms of the systems in the game and the interactions, there's just, you know, it, it, they don't do much. No, um, they're just there. So there's not a lot to go with. Um, I, you know, I'll, if I can think of anything more interesting I can do with those guys, I will. Um, uh-huh. But, yeah, it's tricky. 
Alright, I think we'll end it here then, guys. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I think we got about 100 viewers on average-ish, or around that point, so that's pretty good. Um, cool. So, yeah, thank you to, for, uh, to Tom for joining me. And nice one, thank you for having me, mate. That's all right. Thank you for inviting yourself, because I, <laughs> I, I was kind of... When I did the one with Abraxas, I asked him, or I think I asked him, and then you completely surprised me by asking... Me yeah, too. I'm the one Do that one. just barges into other people's houses. It, it, <laughs> where's the party? It was cool. Uh, uh, wait. Oh, hang on. Membrane tree. Membrane trees are classified as fauna, but then the PDA says they're made up of a coral and fauna species in a symbiotic relationship. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. I, I, yeah. I, I swear, it's <laughs> number, number one priority before I get to one. I, 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 All right, then. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah, nice one. Yeah, good, good stuff. I enjoyed it.